So I ended up just restarting my whole PC. So yeah. Hello. Hopefully people are still here. I'm hoping. Probably not. Oh well. I'm just gonna play the game, fuck it. <laughs> Resume. Hannah. Nothing's happened to shit. <laughs> what a cruel fucking prank to pull on your mate though. such a weird thing, you know? It's like, Mike, it's Hannah. How can you not see him standing in the dark? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Hmm. Josh. Oh. This is where the interaction comes in? I do like this game, though. It's been such a long time. Hang on. Last look, Josh. Ah, oh, there's Rami Malik. Hello? <coughs> Drank the whole bottle. Jeez, Josh. Much better. Good shit. Good shit. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Yeah, Nick, but I had to restart the entire computer, man. I was just like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I think it was because of Fear of the Dark and No, and I think that sort of screwed things up slightly. Hang on. Where am I going? Oh. I have no idea. It's such a dark and stormy night. Where the fuck? So I investigated the bottle. Yeah, so I just... That the rare. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hot out of it. Come to the guest room at 2am. Oh Who even God. writes letters like this? What did our naive sister get herself into now? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. Ah, oh, it's so weird. What? Let's... Oh, hell yeah. Let's start with a little, you know, make it out. Who even says that? She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? Who even what does this? Like, why? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, man, you guys are jerks. You know that? It's like they just emerge and just don't say anything. And this kind of emerges via camera. Like, what? Okay. Wake Josh. Find others. That's it's so fucked, isn't it? What's going on? Like Where's what? How could you even be a? How can you agree to that plan? It was just a prank, Han. Oh, fuck off, Ken. I cannot wait just to just. Around, mm. man. It wasn't serious. You jerk. One point in the story, Anna. man. Can't Anna. wait to kill all these people. They all did, 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 did. except for the blonde girl. She doesn't really deserve it. You no, know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. But oh, shit. she dies because like. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, can we just do a run and jump? But just do the fast way. Go. Fuck it. Because these people are gonna die already. Doesn't matter. I just wanted because I've I've only played this game seriously once, and I'm curious how like 
how fast people can die. Fast way, go fast. Follow footprints, follow noise. Follow footprints. Oh my god, it's deer! Or deer, is that deer? I don't know. I can run past him anyway, doesn't matter. Everything that happens to the characters, man, they all deserve it. Right. Oh, see, that's that's yeah. cool. I think this is the very first like thing that I've seen where they actually use the light on their phone instead of just relying on a torch. It's like, yeah, if the torch goes out, just have your phone, man. It's the twenty-first century. Oh, it's fine. It's just a uh, just a deer, man. It's all good. Walk faster. Let's try and find the sister. Hello? Hello? Who's definitely not dead. Everything's fine. But to be fair, like, that lassie though, who just walks into the room and is, and is like, just starts awkwardly, like, just taking off their clothes. I'm like, I know the letter says it, but still. Oh. Hmm. I just had flashes forward to my death. How strange. But the story is a wee bit fucked though. That is so fucked. Especially what happens to these two sisters and why they turn into... Well... Don't want to spoil it. But like, uh... Anna. Oh. Anna. Because running to the edge of a cliff is always the smart move. Oh, Jesus I know you can't see. Why are you backing up? It's like there's no point. I love this because it's such a. I never finished this, but God, these sisters didn't deserve it. Yeah, they don't, man. Hannah, a tiny bit. For common sense reasons. Like that there, that was common sense. Like, why did you. I would shake that sister off, man. I'd be like, let her fucking go. Let go. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, shit. I chose the wrong option, actually. I was gonna try and drop Hannah. Oh, well. Guess they're both dead, that's fun. Or Hannah isn't. But fucking she is. She's dead. <laughs> she dead. The analyst. Dr. A.J. Hill. You oofed. Yeah, I did. I got oofed. It's all good, though. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Alright, okay then. You see, no one can change, change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. Yeah, TGM. Uh, I'm in order to move anticipating it. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? 
All right. We will start mm. with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. I forgot about this guy. He's always a, such a cool person. Reminds me so much of like an early noir thing. Oh, a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow? Well, I see. I see. Let's see. If the scarecrow were not there, would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Yeah. Say a week, for example. What if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Yeah, I don't think I would care. Yeah. So, the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. Nah, ghost is a ghost, man. It's fine. Like a scarecrow. No, a ghost can possess a scarecrow, so. Honest with me. <clears throat> Our time's up. Let's investigate that. In our next session, shall we? Okay. I love it. See, when, like, companies started having that technology to have, like, those those faces in games, they, they basically, I feel like they just told the actors, be expressive as possible, like, because that was basically, fuck, there was a scene like that in Ellie Noir where they were like that. Death, oh death. Oh, death. Fucking love this song. I might, oh man. I might just make a horror film just to have this in the, the intro. Such a cool intro sequence. I heard uh, Madame Maiden has like the same song, but like obviously a different singer and all that. I'd use the version from Madame Maiden. I don't know. I, I listened to it. It's alright, I think I prefer this one though. Oh, oh, death. Oh, death. There's a scene on the bus. Today is yeah. the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Eh, hey, metal version, but you want to set the mood. This song sets the mood. Yeah. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He hmm. has an interesting history with the Washington <coughs> family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends. I fucking and hate this friends. guy. Goddamn rat. Like, who does this? You wouldn't, all you right. would edit that out. Well, hello, friends and fans. Fans of what? It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> 
So, um, let me just what, let you know. What does he mean by uh, fans? Take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit. I want to spend quality time with each an individual. Or each and in, I don't know, each one of you. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what he means by that. Holy fuck, they just killed the kids. What, in Call of Duty, or...? Because we know that happens in Call of Duty. That's, that was the big thing that kept going around. Chapter 1. Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. Sam, Hannah's best friend. The light, consider it adventurous. Hello? Someone there? Enigma, they killed the kid in, uh, in World War Warfare 3. There was the uh, terrorist attacks that happened like throughout the world, like in London and France and stuff, like the gas attacks. And there was a video where there's um there's a bit in the game, but it was like uh, it switches to a dad with like a with a camera, and he's filming his daughter and wife, and his daughter's having a fun time. He's like, oh my god, I'm in London, oh my god, dancing around and stuff like that. And then this van just parks up, and then the door just walks up, scares away pigeons, and then the van just fucking explodes <laughs> in front in front of the kid, killing the kid and the family, which was a uh, not a fun experience. It's probably a good thing you didn't play Damir, probably wouldn't run in your... Yeah, I know. That's why it's like, uh... These games, man. But then, again, like, Damir was have... It's more problems than, uh... Oh, hello. It's an email in the back. Yeah, Damir has more problems than just fucking <laughs> than just the optimization. Quick, let's do it quick. Oh, <laughs> quick. This game just became Home Alone. Oh, Enigma, don't don't spoil it, don't spoil it, don't spoil. Don't spoil. I think I know where you're going, just don't, don't, don't say too much. There's a pedo in these woods. Oh, 
Oh. Don't move. I didn't fucking move. Do not lie to me. Well, Fear of the Dark Unknown seems like it has a better story than enemies. Yeah, it does. Fear of the Dark Unknown's better. I am literally not moving at all. Uh. Damier is literally just like, Hey, we want to make Resident Evil, but we don't have the license. <laughs> hmm. Honest, charitable, brave. The classic student. Or preppy student. Butterfly prophecies. Oh yeah, fucking Hannah had the black butterfly tattooed on her arm. Hmm. Oh shit. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Tutorial. Yes, yes, okay. That's cool. That's cool. You, you don't need to continue that, bro. Cadence. Okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true it depends on the choices you make. I'm gonna get everyone fucking killed. That's just it. That's just what's gonna happen. Chris, you here? Chris? Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hi, I'm Portuguese. Hi, I'm Scottish. <laughs> Hola, Sofia. Snoop. Of course, I'm gonna snoop. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. <laughs> Chris. It's Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Metho methodical, protective, and humorous. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. Well, you the cunt has been stalking me in the woods. You. you gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? I found something that's kind of amazing. It's a gun. Your mind. Bro, your mind. Okay. Camden Norman. I love this. This is like it is like an early two thousand sort of uh, sort of horror movie. Ta -da. It's a gun range. Red, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? True. Right. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. <laughs> Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Ah, oh, please, Chris. Nice. Alright. Here goes. I want Chris to just be a complete dick. I want it like, I can imagine him being so cowardly. So he has to take on that role. Right. Live target. Wow, I think the squirrel's gonna come, All right. and you have like the I'm option bad. to. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild cape and beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That big, that close. 
Uh oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bullseye. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, my God. Cut oh. that. Get it away. <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? I was uncomfortable shooting the squirrel there, but I want to... Make sure everything dies in this game. I want Chris to be like just fucked up. Hey, it's a wanted poster. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, it's place abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. I don't know who would want to trek all the way up the woods. Door's locked. Yeah. Or all the way up this fucking Across mountain. One of those to keep it locked to keep people out. That'd be way too easy. What people? I, I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. A real gentleman. Crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. You're not so rich. On Wednesday. No, no. Nah, nah, uh, mm, I. Wednesday. Uh, I think. The thirtieth. Yeah, I think I had a plan to stream on Wednesday, but that was streaming. Um, was that was streaming Fear of the Dark Unknown. I think I might not do that stream because uh, I might just stream on the Friday because I'm working on a documentary. And uh, I'm in uni Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so I think I'd much rather stay longer and work on that rather than come home. Why did you bring the gun? Fuck it. Why not? I wouldn't leave a gun just willy nilly sitting out in the fucking. sitting out in the year. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. That's fine, I'll just visit a haunted you know, cemetery. <laughs> right. Him and Josh seem really pumped about us all. A haunted so cemetery. Yeah, no. That's probably yes. every cemetery I because so excited about something in forever. It's a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's gonna be fucking haunted. The place where all the dead no, people no, are at. It was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Oh, I cannot Bro, wait for this guy to die. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh yeah. sat in the back of the room, and I sat in the front. Very we interesting. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. As yes, you see, you're still here, yeah, Negma. Your That's Doritos of... I mean, and of, uh... To this day. Power? Maybe? <laughs> a flight? Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off the training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Just hope you don't kill the dog. Right TG, I'm killing everything in this game. <laughs> Literally, everything is gonna die. Butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly effect. Thank you for explaining the butterfly effect, Chris. The holy Dorito. Thou shall not be munched. <laughs> right. Ah. 
Mike's new girlfriend. I will unfall if dog dies. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys are gonna be so disappointed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So she does not like Emily. For <clears throat> obvious reasons. I don't even know why you would invite your ex up here. It just like it would just cause drama. Like, nah. Oh, hello. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Ha. Uh, be a jerk. No one likes Emily. Goodness. No one likes Emily. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? Wow. I wonder. Mike and M Slick were together. Whoa. Drama. Not mm -hmm. really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Well, that's interesting. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sam? Did you see this view? Man, fuck Emily. Like, yeah! She's insanely annoying. Did you just stop and take it's it just, all it's just that one moment in the game. Literally, the first time playing. The lodge, like, right where the cable car ends. First time playing, and you have that opportunity. I did not hesitate. <laughs> I pulled that trigger as quickly as possible. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? I cannot wait to tear everyone apart. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yep. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Dick. <laughs> Intelligent, driven. Dick. Bravo 6, going dark. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Threaten. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I love how that has got nothing to do with anything yet. that was being said. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. But, but, yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just going to head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? <laughs> oh, okay. Crap. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Just want to cause as much drama. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's <laughs> really dark. Fuck are you in believe? You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? Yes. I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. 
Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not yes. what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Hmm. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. I'm not going to go fight Sam. Start something. Ladies and gentlemen, my dog, Ashley, has a crush on Chris, but they cannot convince their love to be to each other because I don't know. What is it? Nothing up here, no? Matt is just the rebound guy. Totally, totally the rebound guy. Right, so we're going. You went up? You went up? Yeah? Huh? You're like, oh, where's the fits? Right, I don't even know where I'm supposed to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out oh, there we are. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Uh oh. Not in the friend zone kind of way. Yeah. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder if their animation just keeps replaying. No idea. Right. Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I didn't Louise. mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, mislead is busted. Encourage. Yes, of course. Um,. Uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out. The dog's trying to find food. He's hunting for it. He doesn't realize that nothing's there. Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, Especially you see after that fight. Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Yeah, why? Go beat his ass, man. Maybe I want Matt to just be the, the only survivor. It's like the complete opposite of, like, of like the stereotypical water movie. What? What's that? Check phone. Oh, what's that? Oh! Oh, I thought he just you took out the fucking phone. That. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender There's nothing to the up here. military guard come I seen, taking I showed you a second ago. There's nothing there. Grab some wall. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh! There's nothing here. Great. You pay. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I love the music and everything, it's so... Oh, she has really good aim. Oi! <laughs> Don't take the fuck out. Hit the bird. Hello? Come on. Hey! I was gonna try and hit the bird. <laughs> Shit! If your legs were as quick as your mouth, you wouldn't be having this problem. No, don't you dare gloat at me. Oh, yeah! Who's got the golden arm? Oh, great. <laughs> ah, the bird's here. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Me, Michael. I know all your tricks. <laughs> oh, no! Jesus. Damn, Chet. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, oh no, poor birdie, poor little 
sweetie birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Didn't do it on purpose. You just killed the fucking bird. Oh my god. Yeah, the bird's dead. And he's fucking still going at it. What is he doing? How can you even be God, like that after you just murder a so bird? Did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. Like, <laughs> how, what? <laughs> how can he be like that? I don't well, understand. Well, well. It was totally improper. <laughs> snowball king get for defending his kingdom from oppression and tyranny? Oh, I'm oppression well, and tyranny. That's a snowball right there. Hey, we've all got parts to play. I think you just landed the role. I wonder how I quick I can get this guy killed. I'm curious. Huh? Oh, we'll get it up here. Okay. okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of it. Later. It's funny how you can actually yeah. save this ghetto as so well. Have to wait if you're fast enough. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like. Jess, look out! Oh. Oh. oh my god! That was. Really close. That was really close, yeah. <sighs> Good to know. Disappointing. <laughs> Bodyguard on demand. So two things have oh. died so far. Sexy and smart. No person though. Roll up your tongue and let's get back to the lodge, hot bod. Hot bod. Status update. You are a fucking fucked up person. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that person? Who's that person? Ah, it's you again, Mr. Analyst, or AJ. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Do not hate me, how's you? I believe that in our last session, you were not comfortable. We need dead honest. meat to kill Count. This uh, so Experience. we don't have to. Years of experience, you don't think. This time, oh, I'm going to try to understand the roots of your yeah, anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Most anxious, okay. Planes, definitely. Uh, actually, yeah, <laughs> I don't like fucking heights at all. Actually, snakes, yeah. Ah, uh, knives. I think it's when you see guns. Because it's such like a unrealistic thing over here. Of just someone just pulling out a gun. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of scarecrow stuff. No, actually, <laughs> I didn't even know that was coming in. Yet yeah, he still didn't startle me. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be. Okay. The more enlightening you will find. See, I usually like hesitate slightly, but no, I'll just. It's fair. Actually, I don't fear needles, I just seen that. Okay. Actually, I don't even fear needles. It's just that I don't fear dogs either, right? <laughs> this is very interesting. 
I'm loving this. <laughs> What is that, Call of Duty? Spiders, zombies, and needles. Needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time. Fuck this guy, um, man. We'll Imagine peeing this prick. Call down the stream. Awesome. Glad you're having a good time, Enigma. Previously on Until Dawn. You were a cunt to someone. You, guys you got someone killed. Oh, I don't really need this. Ah, oh, do I need to watch this? Hannah! It's only been 45 What's minutes. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Oh, I can't wait to shoot her. <laughs> See this one. No, oh yeah, never mind. Four people are dead. First or four off, things. Are I gotta dead. say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back. I'm having a good time. Good Blackwood shit, PG. Winter getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You were not so doing I that. I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Butterfly Boom. effect. Butterfly effect. Do you think he watched the movie Butterfly Effect? Man, I feel like this Chapter mountain two, gets bigger jealousy. every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. <laughs> Rami Malek. <laughs> Complex, thoughtful, actor. Oh. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Hello. Okay? Yeah. Well, they have a realism difficulty. It is red, but with no HUD. Oh, that sounds cool. So I take it you just die from like a couple of bullets. Oh, Chris. Yo, yo, yo. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Oh. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. You already yeah, die from a couple bullets in regular. Oh, really? Shit. <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um. <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. Unsettled, confident, yeah. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. He does. Where else go? And then we sucks. Oh. <laughs> Oh wow. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. Why does that you sound way more yourself. aggressive? Now, you come in for the kill. Jesus Christ, okay. 
Sure. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Yes. Okay. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Why, well, I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. Hmm. What happened to the X? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Such an easy way to break. Oh. I'm okay. Would help if you didn't do a fucking forward roll into the wind, didn't More attention at climbing class. You mean Jim? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. By the way, we never got to do that in school. Don't know if that's like an American thing, where you just climb up a rope. I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. <laughs> I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Hmm. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray. Was it not an American thing? And push. I don't know, I see it in like all the, every like American Bingo. movie and show, right, so whenever they have gym classes, it's always like a rope thing. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> okay. Guy's such a fucking weirdo. Hello, what's this? Oh, it's a tome. I wonder what it'll do, or wonder what this is. Lost home. It may have been in the 1980s and 90s, not anymore. Hello? Oh, what's this? Ex janitor. What the hell was that? Maybe it was the wind, I don't know. Or maybe it was all this dust laying about this fucking house. Where's the front door? Fucking hell. Where is the front door? I don't even... Wasn't that around here? Am I in the right floor? Downstairs, I'm gonna go. It's funny if I just walk this entire house, only to realize that I, the thing I had to do was literally two centimeters away from fucking. Um, is this the door? A oh, cinema room. Uh -huh. uh, Right. So 
entrance is not down here. Okay. I got no clue where this fucking door is. I found it so easily the other time. Was I even meant to come in this way? Probably not. Oh, is this the door? Okay. And I'm back here. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea where I need to go. <laughs> Literally, there's so many like shiny things that I just I just get lost. Oh wait, is this the door is right here? Yep. Oh, never mind. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Maybe if you had the shotgun, you could have like just blow the fucking door open. You know. Okay, so. So yeah, where do we go? If the door is locked, like, how do I get it unlocked? Is that a key somewhere? Is that all the flashing objects? By the way, fuck having the speedrun this game. Imagine that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where to go. This is annoying. So that leads, that goes down to the cinema room. Do I need to go upstairs? Possibly. Let's go. Let's go check upstairs. Why not? Oh, go to the bathroom, right? I thought that was a joke. <laughs> I thought the guy was honestly joking about that. What the fuck is that going to do? What's making a flamethrower? What is that? What is that going to accomplish? Right, so where even is the bathroom? Go to the bathroom. You don't know where it is? There's three floors to this house. Figure it out. I think I know where the bathroom is. I think I know. I may, I may know. Hang on. I'll go double check. Thingy my Bobby takes a bath at one point that she's chased. And I can't remember what floor that's on. Ah, Jesus. Came in this way. Bathroom's upstairs, doesn't it? Must be. Guy walks so slow. Right, keep walking to the side. Hopefully, there's a door. TG. 
Aha! Progress. It's hard to see. There we are. Is bathroom in here? And this is bathroom? Yes. Hopefully. Uh, is. Does that even work? Hey, I don't hey, think hey, that'll work. I'll be here all week. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, a bear or a tiger. Little baby Wolverine. Baby. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. By the way, thank you for uh, sharing out the stream, PG. Do appreciate it. Sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Warren, I I saw you and him. What the hell were you doing with him out on the trail? What? I saw you and him. The telescope. It's weird every time you have the dialogue choice, you just like zoomed into the, the guy's face. And I said hello. That against the law? Uh, distrust. Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Hey guys, it's me. Oh and my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? Ugh. No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't mix cups. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. <laughs> Provoke. <laughs> hey, hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncall. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. <laughs> Provoke. <laughs> Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Oh Are my about to get god. Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. We can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. Hey, it's right up the trail. <sighs> well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh... Can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? 
My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer. Oh, fuck jacket. off, Emily. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Maybe if you were I'm actually home. to like bring the bag up, we'll you be know? Back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay. Can't okay. wait for so I'm many opportunities. Hey, Sam. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, far. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> If we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Gonna need these. <laughs> I'd pay to see you. Uh, grow. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I'm texting. <laughs> uh, fucking trying to catch up with an old friend and a... Uh, but yes, this game's been going fun though. Shit. So, this is where things kick off. I'd like to see an RE game made like this. Yeah, I would like to see like a sort of very heavily story focused Raccoon City maybe? That would be cool. Or maybe like a group of friends go out to the woods and it's like before RE Zero and zombies and all that are still there. I think that would be cool. <laughs> That's such a good picture. Good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. Oh, so did man. Let's go. I've got cabin fever. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Cabin fever? You talking about that movie, Cabin Fever? That was uh, quite shite. Not gonna lie. That's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Oh, why just stop? I don't care. Every time my way. This thing needs juice or something. 
didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yes, maybe it's in this very conveniently placed shed. Maybe this is the cabin we're staying in, I have no idea. Ah, never mind. Alright. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Oh, oh, oh damn. Do you know what I'll do? Uh, creating an own episode on that specifically, TG. I'll write a, I'll write a Resident Evil story for um for an Until Dawn style game. That'd be cool. I'd like that. Yeah, but cool. I'll feature yeah. the song as well. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. <laughs> Sex it. Only just real. I only just processed that there. I'm like, hmm. Don't, don't, don't acknowledge it. Don't acknowledge it. That's all good. Don't, don't worry about it. You want to unsettle the mood? Don't worry. It's all good. I'm sure it was nothing. Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. I'm sure it was nothing. It's all good. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka whack these. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you oh. get out? I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Heroic. Yeah. Alright, coming after you. Stay put. It got me slightly there. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Sure. Imagine, I would just be like, nah, I'm just gonna go, let's just go back to the house. Fuck going through this fucking cave. I'm alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? Let's move on. So left or yeah, just go straight forward. Fuck it. Oh, Nelly, this place is giving me the willies. Never mind. Can't go this way. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Such a weird path to that cabin. I'm pretty sure the path led straight into this cave. Pretty sure. Oh. You alright? 
See, that's why I wouldn't want to go into the game. Unstable. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Yeah. Or is it time to go? I don't know. I would say let's stay for a wee bit longer. Let's stay until this entire place fucking collapses. So I can mark two more people off my list. <laughs> I really want to kill this guy. Usually, like, I remember my first playthrough, I kept this guy alive for so long. She did, though. She, like, she definitely did. Cabin. Why did they have to build it so fucking far away? Well, well. When Joss said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting present? What's that light over there? Hmm. Right on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Ooh, a telescope. <sighs> gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Seeing everything apart from the obvious Whoa. light. All right. I just saw someone at the cabin. That'd be sure okay. that. Did he not see the Wendigo, or is that just, is that just me? A lot of things, that is like, you know, fill me once, shame on you. Fill me twice, shame on me. I didn't get filled the second time. Maybe. That's very. It's a very obvious, <laughs> very obvious little jump scare you have there. Cabin this way, okay. God, it's a deer. Watch out, bird brain. Rats with wings. Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? <laughs> These are gross. Like diseases and shit. Hmm. Man, this cabin's such a long way away. It's such an awkward path to get to. Wait, moon. Cabin this way. God damn it, Josh. Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. F Paradox, uh yeah, game location yeah. in Russia. No, it's in like uh Oh boo. I don't know, it's like where is it? It's like northern America. You got something on your face. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well that's how it's gonna be. Oh my god, she's missing. Yes. Ah. Yes. And she finally dead, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, well, do you need any help with that? <laughs> I already are. Washington Lodge. Okay. Alright, Josh. 
Jack, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. See, I think I would just be way too lazy to have some place like this. I'd like to just walk in and everything's working. What was that? I don't know. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> well, Josh, you know hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler in the basement. Alright, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um Okay. I guess so. Rad. <laughs> yep, for a ride along. Okay. How long is this game actually? Is this game like a. Uh... I thought I'd remember this game being like eight, nine hours long. Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. <laughs> Chris needs to go for it. And I just wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? Well, neither if he doesn't go for it, which knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of foreshadowing. Pretty, pretty funny. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. I'll look. I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but. I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Hmm. Can I grab the bat? Oh, can I actually? Is that food? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, I'll grab it. Silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, Farfly effect. This whole guy, right? I think we're going to use that bat at some point. That's cool. Well, I'm not going to use the bat because that will result in us not killing things. Here, can you, can you hold this? 
But I think everyone starts to die in like the sort of second, later half of the game. I literally did so not move my controller whatsoever. Okay. I have it down. <laughs> literally not even, not even holding it at all. I know that's considered cheating, but oh well. Nice one. That's not really that hard to fucking hold a torch or something. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Here okay. That's more like it. All right. Five, girl. <laughs> Did you see? Did you see that as well? There was a thing to the right hand side that just like whizzed past. I'm pretty sure that was a. Pipes. <laughs> Don't be an a hole, okay? I totally didn't jump. All I said was, What was that? Which is a totally normal reaction to hearing a super creepy noise in a super creepy basement. <laughs> We should check it out. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? Oh wait, is that the last thing from Heroes? It's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. The TV show Heroes. Me, I think I've that's the last. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check yeah, that out later. Right. Supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you, are you serious? Were you in on this, Hut? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have had a slight burst of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap! You were scared. Admit it. I was. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! <laughs> what in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. <laughs> Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I'd see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Alright? So have fun. 
Mm, another force. Two hours of an hour and a half of foreshadowing here. <laughs> but I love how like the analyst is uh, office is becoming like more fucked. I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of. Uh, yeah, actually. I think everyone has that fear. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? <laughs> it's not reflected at all because I want to shoot them. Or no, I don't want to shoot them. I just want them to die. That's it. Oh, he's having a problem. Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Honesty. So, you would tell the truth. Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Huh? Well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Until the it was just a prank, Han. Do you know what I'm actually gonna do? I think I might just end it there, to be fair, guys. I am going to be streaming again tomorrow, uh, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I think I might just. I might make this like a sort of C, like um back to back sort of stream thing. So I'm gonna keep streaming until dawn, until it's finished. But my god, I've been streaming long today. <laughs> this has been a such a long day of streaming. Um, a good, like, seven hours or something like that. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you back again tomorrow. And, uh, yes. I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.